Las Vegas. This is NAB Show Live, produced by Broadcast Beat. Hey guys, Nikki from NAB Show Live, and I'm here with Hank Fracon and Patrick Green from Source Digital. How's it going? Very good, very good. We're making it through. Good. Show's treating you well? Show is treating us well. I feel 10 years older, but yeah, absolutely. Me too. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of Vegas. Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit about Source Digital, what's new, what we're showing here at the yeah, show. Yeah, Our big focus is on making commercials go away. So we're trying to help the industry. No, we're, I'm serious. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I mean, if you look at the... Um, sort of the trends in content production. It's a big movement for brand and product integration. There's also another cross section which is content personalization. So, you know, two people sitting on the couch watching the same thing, want to take away very different things. And so what we do is we take uh, underutilized information from within the production process that's all the new AI stuff, all the new production aggregation stuff, and we become a central collection basin for that. And then through that process, we can allow content owners to really create new monetization experiences, create a better engagement strategy for their consumer um, and their viewer, really, essentially. Well, I mean, that's that's where the industry is going or where it is, and it's only going to keep going in that direction. So. Absolutely, absolutely. So Patrick, our chief software architect, he's done some really good job at inventing our stack. I don't know if you want to tell a little bit about, you know, how it works and what we yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. All right, tell us. Um, and I think it's one of the things that Hank didn't touch upon, which is it's not just about the monetization aspects and the products and all that, but creating richer consumer experiences. Um, you know, the new generation is on their iPad, they're not on the TV, and the technology is enabling these new ways to interact with our content, whether it's through just the simple second screen apps or if it's through something like a uh, Game of Thrones follow along. So you're watching Game of Thrones and it's like, who was that character? Oh, the app already knows. It's That's just true integration. So, you know, it's not, we're not trying to take your eyes away from it, but to enrich it. So, you know, those, and we don't want the one second screen experience to rule them all, which right, I think is where right. a lot of companies have gone wrong and said, we want the Game of Thrones experience, the Weeds experience, the Breaking Bad experience, the different experiences. And our tools have been designed to allow these people to create those experiences around their content and enrich them, I think, which is, you know, yeah. what what we want. And then why not make money on that on right. top of that? Right. So. And to create create like a unique experience for each uh, one. That's well, the exactly. biggest thing. Yeah. And, and not just for the content itself, but for the viewers. So if I'm watching Sex in the City, God forbid, you know, I'm gonna have a different experience than my wife who wants to see every shoe, every button, where it's from, where it's you know, when I watch it I'm just gonna watch it, right? But when you take something a little bit more, um, you know, open to all audiences, even then, you know, the the age groups, the different, you know, you want a different experience versus uh, what my wife wants versus what a 20 year old wants versus what a 15 year old wants. So that's part of what our platform does is within that you know, unique experience around the content, a unique experience for the viewer. So all of our tools have been designed to allow that to happen. And we work in the cloud, obviously. Yeah, right? we're, we're in the cloud. In the Guys, cloud. we're in the cloud. Words we're in the cloud. Out there. Right now, so you don't have to load anything in. You don't have to do anything complicated. Oh, what's the other keywords we need? Uh, personalization, monetization, <laughs> and <Cloud. laughs> do we get Hashtag them all? Cloud. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I think, I think another, another interesting thing to think about is, you know, it's how you drive those experiences is not just about you know any kind of companion thing it could be just where are you at that moment in time how do you want to take that experience with you so we really work across a multi-screen environment we use the word omni screen so we're time related experiences together so some examples of that could be we're doing a we did a press release here at the show with toy makers toy makers is one of the velocity hit shows um, it's a lot of content discovery so what patrick was talking about about making it personal is not just about telling the user what they should see but what they can discover within the content by their own their own choice. But now you also have to think about how do you make those discoverable moments exist in a VR experience, in an AR experience. Are you watching the content? And so with Toy Makers, we're gonna, every season, every episode's gonna have a VR moment for build along and ride along. So we're gonna notify your phone that hey, this is coming, you know, get ready, 30 seconds, put your goggles on. Um, at that moment, you'll get a really uh, good opportunity to kind of see a different alternative perspective to the content. And to us, that's just metadata. That's just a way that you as a content owner want to author that VR moment. How might you also want to author the companion moment, the mobile moment, the on-screen moment? And so we're also focused with the ATSC 
uh, which is a lot of the new 3.0 strategies and content uh, standards, and what are the personalization hooks that we can tie in there. And then we're working with some stuff with uh, Alexa and Siri to also give you that speaking capabilities. So for us, we have a very easy to use stack. You just go in, create a record on your own, just like QuickBooks. From there, you can author against that. And on your way, take our app dev kit. We've had some really great people um, doing some good development in as little as like a week. Some people threw some stuff before the show together on our stack, so. That's really cool. Yeah. Let me just ask you a question. For the toy makers when you're saying, we'll shoot you a text and say, you know, this is a VR moment that's yeah. coming up, put your call. Do you see that as, uh, do you see that expanding to more television station shows, that, that kind of thing in the uh, future? Do you think this is the start of something that's going to be like a norm yeah, in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the average device right now, I mean, sorry, the average living room right now, according to Nielsen, has about seven different screens in the living room, right? And they're all being interfaced with at different times, right? You see the classic picture of, you know, moms watching TV, dad staring at a laptop, kids on a phone, yeah, you know. I've and had. so, like, you know, they're not always looking at exactly the same stuff, but 50% of people... Uh, statistically will look up information on a tablet related to the program they're watching or want to recall that. And so we have to think about at this moment in time where we are for a commercial opportunity for content owners, how do we allow a content owner to author unique experiences across any device in a simple time-based data strategy, right? Okay. Now, where will that go? Well, of course, if you look at the market cap associated with AR and VR, it's supposed to surpass television over the next 10 years. You look at brand and product placement strategies where they're going to surpass traditional ad buys, and it's not hard to predict that you know, we're going to have those moments where we're now just looking at a single universal screen, but we got a little while to get there. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. yeah. Thank you guys so much for speaking with me. Very cool stuff. Thank you very much. Give us a website. WWW, WWW, w, no, I'm just kidding. No, it's uh, sourcedigital.net. So All right, make sure you visit www.sourcedigital.net. This is Nikki with NAB Show Live.